free throws pretty easy, huh? Yeah, you know, um, just Coach Kyle just told me to just keep on shooting it straight and um, just do what I've been doing in practice. And I've yeah. been just working out, working on it a lot, and uh, it just benefited me tonight. Is that a satisfying feeling to go out there and you know make good on that promise to make the free throws? Uh, yeah, you know, it's way different from going uh, one for ten, like. Uh, he reminded me when I was doing the blue and white scrimmage, but um, you know I just keep on practicing and um, just use the same technique. How much work have you been putting in outside of practice on it? Uh, a lot, you know. Every time we do uh, late night workouts with KP, and once we finish running, you know he'll make us shoot free throws while we're tired. So uh, I've just been working on it a lot. George Towns coach said he doesn't know how you guys are going to get beat this season. Do you feel unstoppable when you guys are out there? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I mean, it's just different when you can go out there, you know, and just exert all your energy and play your hardest. And then, you know, the next group comes in fresh and, you know, uh, they can do what they do. So it just feels like it's way more easier this year. You know, wearing people out too, you know, early on it, it was a little tougher, but then it's, you know, oops and mobs and running the court and Willie's throwing a, you know, hand behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> when you're starting to do that kind of stuff, does it just seem like it, it really makes everything else easier too when you guys, once you settle in, you know you're wearing other teams out? Yeah, it does. You know, um, not a, anybody in the country has as many guys that we can, that deserve to play, you know, and can play at a high level like us. And it's just once the other team gets fatigued and stuff, and once we keep on getting fresh and keep on going in, we can have a lot of fun with it. I will ask you about, you know, how's playing the three offensive, impact your offensive game, but defensively, when you maybe line up against a guy who's six, seven inches shorter than you, how does that? Um, it forces me to get down and defend. Uh, I have to do it in practice when we switch off on the guards, me and Alex both, so it just helps us out in the long run being able to defend smaller guys. You're hitting threes, you know, you're running the court, throwing stuff down. It, it, does the game start really becoming easier as the night goes on? you know, through these first two, especially just because the other team's getting so worn down? Uh, definitely, you know, the two platoon definitely works. You know, teams aren't ready for it. They get tired, and then we have another platoon coming in, you know, going right back at it. So it definitely helps. How much fun is it, too, for you guys? I mean, you know, when one one sets out, you're over there watching, you know, Willie throwing his hand behind his head, and, and everybody just kind of getting into it. And, you know, EJ gets in there. It's a 13th fan. It just seems like there's a lot of smiles over there on the bench. That it's uh, definitely. We're all happy, happy for each other. And, um, you know, we want to see each other do good. And uh, that's what we've been doing lately in practice and stuff like that. So everybody's happy for everybody. Cal said the only way this <coughs> is going to work is if is you guys allow it to. Are you guys fully bought into that now? Are you guys comfortable with this thing? Uh, I think everybody's bought into it. Um, we see that it's helping everybody out. Everybody's playing the same amount of minutes. So, you know, we can't complain about that. And uh, going out there just competing with one another and just playing hard all the time. Does your shot feel different on a night like tonight other than, you know, the, you started, I think, 0 for 6 in the blue-white game in the first exhibition? I mean, how different does a shot feel when you're, you're making them like tonight? I mean, I just got in a rhythm. Every, every, every player knows how that feels. Just, just having an off night and then having a, having a, just have a work on your game, get more shots up, and um, that's the result of, of, of working hard. You guys have a lot of games coming up here. Is that something you're looking forward to? Oh yeah, in the next few weeks. Yeah, definitely. All the, th this long summer that we that we had a lot of hard work and all the early mornings and things. I think we we deserve to get some games under our belt. Cal says you may have already mentioned this, but Cal says the only reason this thing's working because they allow it to. You. The guys on this team are allowing this platoon system to work and, and really believing in it. How much have you all really bought into that? And is, it, is it almost fun when you're on the bench to, to be able to sit down and, and really just kind of cheer on your teammates? Yeah, you just have to get you have to get get used to it and, and, and be able to give up um, some some personal things for for your teammates and it, and I think most of us uh, I think all of us are willing to do that and if, it, if we're willing to do that we can we can be a great team personal things you give up <clears throat> name some of the personal things you might be giving up just like scoring more points and and and, and just getting getting stats in general this uh you just have to give that up for for the for the better betterment of the team it's kind of an unnatural thing to do but you grow up thinking points and Numbers. Yeah, it's it's unnatural and it's different for us because we're all we all scored all the points in high school and, 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 and got all the rebounds and got all the stats. So it's just it's just new for us. But I think is um it's making us better as a team. You guys were up 16, seven, kind of a slow start, and I know Cal uh, kind of yelled back at you, "Hey, one minute!" Yeah. And all of a sudden it was like a 20-0 run, and it kind of turned up. Is it just a reminder to you guys of 
hey, let's go ahead and go out there and, and let's do what we do. Yeah, yeah. We um, Andrew huddled us after he said that, and he was like, oh yeah, we got to go. So we just we just turned it up a little bit and um, just start to go. Are you like us? You have to stop and remind yourself that Trey is six foot ten. Stuff you can do out there. Oh yeah, yeah. Trey Trey's really skilled, and um, he probably didn't get a lot of. Um, did get to play any any wing or anything in high school because he was the biggest guy. So um, he, he's he's a really skilled guy and and, and um, really shoot the ball well. So you guys can all see that he's really skilled. How hard are you guys to guard when the whole team's making threes like you all were? Oh yeah, I mean, on a on a good shoot night like tonight, it's really tough to guard us because we can spread the floor and and, and we have uh, good drivers and, and obviously we have great big men and um, great size. So.